Sponsoring today's video, we have our monthly sponsor, GVG Mall, offering you a Windows 10 Pro serial key for only $17, and if you use my SKAG code, you get 20% off, lowering the price to $13. After the payment, you'll receive the key in no time, and you simply need to introduce it in your Windows settings, and BAM! You have an activated system. Tylko jedno w głowie mam Koksu 5 gram Odlecie Hello guys, I should give plays I'm Fabio Pisco Obviously And welcome to my channel So today's video is the last video of 2020 And oh man So many things happened in 2020 For example, the AMD drivers that went from good drivers To completely shitty drivers Then gradually actually uh, improved again so, they went from good to shit, and then to shit, from shit to actually uh, usable. Now they are fine after all, but it took at least 9 months for the drivers to, to be fine, so... Yeah, that was a lot. We also had lockdowns, for example, we had my hair growing, which was a pain in the ass completely, and it is kind of in the face of still shitty, but getting better, so... From now on, from now on, I think... I think that my hair, at least my hair, will be fine. Lockdowns don't matter, but my hair... Anyway, today's video is about the Adrenaline 20.12.1 drivers. As I always say in my videos, 20 is the year, 12 is the month, December, and 1 is the revision in that same month. So, I, I actually uh, had the opportunity of, do, of doing this video way earlier when the driver came out, but I was hoping for a new driver, for example the 20.12.2 driver to, to actually come out for me to do uh, any video because I thought that these, vi these, drivers, these drivers wouldn't bring anything notorious, uh, at least n anything worthy of video making. But I was wrong, we'll get there. As for the release notes, we have, for example, only and only support for the Cyberpunk 2077 and we also have uh, the support for the RX 6900 XT and that is all. We have, as, as usual, some fixed issues, some known issues, but, well, nothing new because drivers are made of this. Fixed issues, then new issues appear, they are known issues and then become fixed issues with uh, w as, as time passes by and as we get new driver versions. That's how things work. But mostly Cyberpunk 2077 support. So, having support doesn't mean that uh, the game actually has improved performance, it just means that the, um, the suit overall, the, the suite overall, uh, actually supports the Cyberpunk 2077 game uh, and may have um, a bit better performance here and there. But well, from my own experience, I tested these drivers with the RX 5700 XT and the RX 6800. So, in both my computers, I had not a single black screen, not a single blue screen, no crashes, nothing. Everything is working perfectly, but as for performance, as soon as I installed the 20.12.1 drivers on my RX 6800 PC, I immediately noticed... Um, a better uh, smoothness. So in terms of frame rates, I, not I noticed indeed a better smoothness, but I wasn't using my my MSI Afterburner layout, so I didn't actually notice the actual difference in terms of numbers. But that's what this video is for, and in my RX 6800 PC, the performance did improve quite significantly with the Cyberpunk 2077. So the power consumption went up, meaning that uh, the GPU is actually being um, more efficiently utilized, uh, and we have more FPS. As for the RX 5700 XT, that's not the case at all. The FPS numbers are more or less the same because we had lo lots of drivers, uh, lots of drivers coming for the 5700 XT. Um, so that's not the case per se, but in terms of the RX 6800, it is. And yeah, once again, the 20.12.2 drivers are optional, but also certified, as happened before with the 20.12.1. 
but in my opinion, if you have a RX 6800 and you actually want to play games and mostly you want to play Cyberpunk 2077, then go for the 20.12.1 drivers because the performance increase is quite significant. As for the RX 5700 XT, well, pick, actually pick the driver that suits you most and if you are having problems, well, pick the driver that gives no problems at all because the performance is already tuned almost to the max so driver updates won't make much apart from one game or another. And well guys, that's all for today and for this year 2020. Have a good 2021, I hope, for you, for me because this year was amazing for me. Although uh, we're having lockdowns and so on, but in terms of YouTube, YouTube-wise, it was a really good year for me. So thanks a lot for watching. Do not forget once again to hit like, subscribe and share this video. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> don't forget to hit like, subscribe and share this video. And also, let's go and see the side-by-side -side comparisons of the drivers with the RX 6800 and the RX, 6, the RX 5700 XT. Thanks a lot for watching once again and see you in the next video. Yo, Mr. V, a pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. Mind if I ask you something right off the bangle? Would you rather live in peace as Mr. Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies, without seeing your 30th? It's first place or no place, Dex. Cost isn't a factor. <laughs> Classic. I'd expect nothing less from eager, supple youth. Respect. Mm -hmm. All right, listen close. Scanning a serious I job now. Playing gargantuan compared to exactly. smashing up a scav home. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech. Bio. two days than the NCPD accomplished in weeks. Not hard to do, but yeah, you're right. Thanks, V. For everything. We'll find him, River. <sighs> if I'd only known sooner how he felt, what was eating at him. This isn't your fault. I'm his uncle, V. And I wasn't there for him. Fuck!